Kyoto's townhouses are a big part of what gives the city its charm. They are old, hard to maintain, cold in winter and hot in summer and therefore disappearing. But some people don't want to let it happen. They renovate them according to modern standards while keeping their old style charm. Today I will show you one of these houses. From the entrance we arrive at the kitchen. This one has been kept very close to the original with only a couple of tiles being replaced. Of course there are also modern appliances such as IH burner, microwave oven, fridge, washing machine, all that sweet stuff that people a hundred years ago did not have. There are two characteristics worth pointing out here. One is the floor is on the same level with the entrance and it's concrete. This means you can walk in here with your outside shoes on. This does not happen in modern Japanese houses. And the second is the ceiling is very high. You can see the roof from here, which means it's about seven meters or so. Next to the kitchen, we find the living room. Uh, uh. Sitting here on a rainy day like today, enjoying your cup of green tea in front of the sliding door on the tatami, the rice straw mats, which are of course in perfect condition. Just saying this now makes me relaxed. <laughs> but let's go over there and take a look at the dining area. The dining area here very comfortably sits four people. It has a small TV over there. Behind me is a shoji sliding door. That means it's made out of paper. The other ones we saw before are made out of glass. And on top of that is this artwork made out of one piece of wood. And just this wall in itself looks amazing. One thing that is very worth mentioning here is the air condition. Because without air condition in Kyoto in summer, it's really gonna be tough. From here you can also access the kitchen. So if you have prepared meals or something, you can put them here, put them on the table, and then of course in the end, put the dishes back. Now let's go through this sliding door right here. Now something amazing for you. I can film here today because this place is owned by a friend and this friend made it available for booking. So if you ever come to Kyoto, maybe with a group of friends or family, it houses up to four people, you can actually stay here. If you want to do that, please check the link in the description. And now let's see the garden. This is again something very typical for these kind of houses. The small garden inside of the house more or less, that gives you access to your own small piece of nature and also allows a lot of daylight to get into the house. And here, if you open the sliding door, you can actually see it from the dining area. The toilet can of course not be missing and this is what you would expect in Japan. It is high tech, it has its own bidet functionality included in the seat, it reuses the water when you're flushing, lives up to the expectations. From here let's go to the bathroom. The washroom looks great, I really like the big mirror and I also like these tiles which fit very well with the kitchen. They're definitely brand new, looks great. Also two basins and if you have family then you know this is a great thing. Behind me is the bathroom and before we go in, this panel. This is to control the ventilation in the bathroom. You can turn it on, you can also heat up the bathroom. So if you want to dry your clothes, you can hang them there and you can also cool it down. And again, it is all absolutely on high standard, all new, looks fantastic. The tiling again, very nice and also very special because usually most Japanese bathrooms are 100% plastic. This one is not. Only the flooring, the bathtub are, but these walls are not. You also have the standard Japanese thing you would expect. So this panel is here. You have to turn this on if you want hot water. And then you control the heat. You can say, I want this amount of water in the bathtub at this temperature and it should be kept at this temperature and so on. And of course, there's a shower. And um, all of this is a wet room as it is standard in Japan. So that means you get in here, you shower yourself clean and then you get into the bathtub. Now something very nice again is here's a window. And if I open this, I can see the garden. So I can actually sit in the bathtub, soak here and enjoy the view outside. And because it's my private garden, nobody else can enjoy the view to the inside. So it's perfectly private, but still you can get to look outside, have your daylight in the bathroom and uh, just relax. To the second floor, we arrive at the first bedroom. This again has tatami, it has a seating arrangement as well. So you can have tea here if you want to, but you can also move that away, put a futon on the floor and then sleep here. It is very high, you can see the ceiling again, you can see the old structures 
also at the ceiling looking very nice smells also very nice because of the tatami mats and also you can sleep really well on these moving over here we are entering the second bedroom this room is bigger than the previous one it can host up to three people two things i want to show you here one is we have this sliding door through which i came in and here's another one and this is a closet it's pretty spacious you can put all the futons in here you could probably also use this as a desk if you want to and this is because tatami are pretty sensitive and you cannot put heavy furniture onto them. So usually in Japanese houses, especially older houses, the closets are separate. Another thing I want to show you is the level to detail. This is the showman. Or so he thought. Usually this is called tokonoma, but well, even the best make mistakes sometimes. And as you can see, it has this calligraphy style painting here and also even here, perfectly fit to size tatami. And if that's not attention to detail, then nothing is. I hope you liked this video. If you did, maybe you also want to see how people live in an old Japanese samurai town. If so, please click here. Again, click here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.